Welcome back to another episode of my top issues but this time with the POCO M3 Pro 5G. If you are new to the channel, I make tech videos of all sorts, so subscribe to see more. And for the subscribers, welcome back. Take note that these are my top issues that may or may not be deal breakers to you when purchasing this phone. So my issues don't have to be yours, so go easy in the comment section. That said, let me start with the first issue with this phone which is the gesture pill. Gestures on the Poco launcher, at least for this phone, sometimes have a hard time recognizing swipe up to go home. You will literally need to be mindful of swiping up as even the slightest off-centered swipe can register a switch to the next app. It may seem non-issue at first, but the more I use this phone, the more I get those false gestures until it gets annoying. Poco could also make the side gestures more sensitive to touches or maybe make the swipe marker a little bit bigger. It would take me a couple of tries until the size of the display register my swipes, which again can be annoying when it happens from time to time. The second issue that you should know is that sometimes, at least when capturing photos in cropped, the captured photos would turn into green images in the gallery. Now I only accidentally found out about this when trying to capture a photo of my dog, and it only happened two times, which was a back-to-back -back shot. I'm not entirely sure if this is software related since I have yet to replicate the problem, but I thought you should know. But for this next one, it's actually easy to replicate. You only need the charger in the phone. Again, this happened to me two times as well. The first time I charged this phone from the empty battery, which means the phone power was off, it fully charged with no problem. The second time I charged, this time with the power turned on, it gave me a warning that the phone was overheating. So as a result, the phone stopped charging at 87%. The third time I charged with the power turned on, the same thing happened, and it was at 87% as well. Now, I live in a place where the weather is around 35 degrees Celsius and that may have played a role in the charging capability of this phone. But to be fair with other devices, I've tested faster charging phones up to 33 watts and neither of those phones gave me an overheating warning. By far, this is the most serious issue I've seen on a phone that I've tested. Before I discuss the other two issues, let me just thank our sponsor, CDK Offers. CDK Offers specializes in delivering cheap and legitimate software and game codes, so if you ever need a Windows 10 Pro key, you can buy one at a very affordable price. To do so, just visit cdkoffers.com. Search for Windows 10 and choose a suitable copy for you, but in my case, I always go for a professional copy. Before making a payment, make sure to type in the RC20 code for an exclusive 20% off discount. After that, you can choose your preferred payment method. You will receive the code via an email that redirects you to the website of CDK Offers, and from there, you can get your Windows 10 key. Since my Windows copy is already activated, I just can simply change my product key to the new one that I just bought. CDK Offers provides permanently valid keys with 30 days of return exchange period. You can check out more deals in the video description below. The last one is about the speaker. Now there's only one speaker here so it's understandable that the quality, let alone the maximum volume, can only do so much. When watching videos or listening to music, the South firing speaker is actually just fine. Sure, it's not the best quality at its price range, but for the most part, it can get loud and clear. Well, except when you're gaming. I played a lot of games with this phone, but with Battle Royale games like PUBG and COD, the speaker just sounds too weak, even at max volume. You can still hear in-game effects, music and everything, but you really need to be in a quiet room, which is awfully weird. So if you really want to get immersed when playing on this phone, do yourself a favor and use decent wireless earbuds or use a wired headphone because it has a headphone jack. Oh, and one more thing, the SIM tray is now a hybrid type, meaning you can either use two SIM cards or a SIM card and a micro SD card. You can no longer use two SIM cards and a micro SD card at the same time. It's probably one of the things Poco had to cut off because of 5G, but then again, it's something worth mentioning. Most of you will probably overlook most of the things I just mentioned since at its price, it's still the best affordable 5G phone right now. However, I am worried about that overheating warning when charging. I want to believe that this could be just software putting a cautious limit on the charging temp of this phone. But still, you never know what could happen. So that's it for this one. Drop a sub or a like if you feel supporting the channel. So until the next one, stay safe.